I chose the Bermuda Triangle because I've always wanted to know why ships and planes seem to go missing. The Bermuda Triangle is a mystery because no one knows why they seem to go missing. The Bermuda Triangle became famous for paranormal activity in 1952. The Bermuda Triangle is a section of the Atlantic Ocean where ships and planes are said to disappear. Bermuda is the shipwreck capital of the world. The Bermuda Triangle is a section of the North Atlantic Ocean off the North off North America in which more than 50 ships and 20 airplanes are said to have mysteriously disappeared. The Bermuda Triangle is located off the east coast of the United States. The Bermuda Triangle is 1,100 miles northeast of Miami, Florida, and 1,093 miles north of Havana, Cuba, and northeast of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Reports emerge of ships being discovered completely abandoned, covering an area of 500,000 square miles. Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico are often identified as the points of the Bermuda Triangle. The first recorded disappearance in the Bermuda Triangle dates back to the mid-19th century. Although a few World War II planes have been found in the area, none has ever been identified as being from Flight 19, or has the rescue plane. As the years went by, the legends piled up. Flight 19 became known as the Lost Patrol. Flight 19 is the most famous Bermuda Triangle incident because it was five planes that went missing at the same time. Throughout the 1900s, reports emerged of ships being discovered completely abandoned without any apparent reason, while others vanished without transmitting distress signals and were never seen again. The mysterious occurrences contributed to the legends of the Bermuda Triangle. Taylor mistakenly led Flight 19 far out to sea, where the five planes apparently ran out of fuel and crashed. This was on December 5, 1945. Several months after the end of World War II, a massive search was launched for the five lost planes. The units of the Navy, Army, and Coast Guard went out to look for the lost NASFL aircraft. While at an altitude of around 4,000 feet and flying at about 135 miles per hour, the five planes made a turn to a compass heading of 170 degrees. The pilot rambled on nervously for a few minutes and then uttered the last words ever heard from Flight 19. It looks like we are entering white water, we're completely lost, were the last words ever to be heard from Flight 19. The Bermuda Triangle is one of the rarest places on our planet. There are up to 181 islands in the Bermuda Triangle. Despite its ships and planes going missing without a trace, the exact number of ships and planes that have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle is not known. The Bermuda Triangle got its name in 1964. Despite the area's mind-blowing reputation, disasters are not really common there. The first recorded disappearance in the Bermuda Triangle dates back to the mid-19th century. Throughout the 1900s, reports emerged of ships being discovered completely abandoned without any apparent reason while others vanished without transmitting distress signals that and that were never seen again these mysterious occurrences contributed to the legend of the bermuda triangle despite various theories including navigate navigational errors road waves no conclusive evidence has been found to support the idea that the disappearances occur more frequently in this region than any other well-traveled areas in the ocean. The idea behind the Bermuda Triangle being a place of strange happenings came to the forefront in the mid 
20th century after many writers popularized it throughout the articles and news publications. The U.S. NOAA has stated that there are no there is no evidence that mysterious disappearances occur with any greater frequency in the Bermuda Triangle than in any other large, well-traveled area of the ocean, and that boaters and flyers continue to venture through the triangle without event. The deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean falls within the Bermuda Triangle at the Milwaukee depth in Puerto Rico Trench. The ocean reaches a depth of 27,493 feet and 8,380 meters. One of my theories is the methane bubbles. The methane bubbles is a theory on the Bermuda Triangle because they are the size of a football field on the ocean floor, and when they rise up, they can pop and make the ships sink and they can the air can rise up and make airplanes go out of control. Another theory is how the air and water currents could take the planes and boats down. This is another one of my theories because two really strong air currents meet in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle and that can easily take ships and planes down to the bottom of the ocean along with the water currents. In my opinion, I believe in the methane bubbles because, one, you can't see them, two, they're the size of a football field, three, the gas in them is 